The, the moment where I was like, all right, it's one of those days was when we were finally about to get the ball back after that stop in the second half. And, uh, and then we fumbled in, and I was like, oh, I guess it's one of those days we're going to have to suck it up and play. What, I mean, how do you react to that going on the sideline to get ready for that next series? I like you do every series. Um, the, the goal doesn't change, so your preparation doesn't change. So you just erase it? Just try and score. Just try and get ready. At the previous play, you just get kind of... Yeah, just keep rolling. You can't change anything. What did you do in that 19 and a half minute period where you only had the one 82 yard touchdown? What do you talk about? You guys playing tic tac toe? What do you, you guys run out of things to talk about? What do you do on the sidelines? Nah, we're just sitting on the sidelines and watching the game, working on the defense, and uh, sharing as loud as you can. Uh, trying to get ready for me to get on the field and uh, hopefully score. Did you get hit on the wrist or arm at some point? The, the video showed like you were like, grabbing something uh, after like a sack. Nah, I just got hit a little bit. Fine though. Did it, got their little bumps and bruises, did it so. kind of take you out of your rhythm, or, or even the offense's rhythm at all, the, the, the weights? No, um, the rhythm is more in within each drive. It doesn't really carry over from drive to drive. Obviously, it's moment, that's, that's momentum um, with regards to the whole team, but with offense specifically, it's just sort of the rhythm is more in each drive itself. I mean, obviously, three and outs, you don't really get in a rhythm, but um, once you start rolling, that's when you start to feel everything. Why well, you, well, you want to score on every drive, obviously, but when you're getting so few opportunities, does it become a greater importance that you can't waste them? No, it's not like... Because on the ones where you don't, where I mean, let's say you touch the ball uh, five or ten more times, um, it, it, the goal doesn't change. Uh, you're not going to put you're not going to put more urgency in it. Uh, there's urgency in every single time you touch the ball. So you got to go to the score. You want to score as fast as you as you can. Is that is that look, because you had a one play drive for 12 seconds, a four play scoring drive 27 seconds. You guys are scoring. I mean, you're you're moving down the field quickly. So is that what the goal is, or do you like maybe want to control the pace? I don't care. I just, I, whenever I touch football, I score. Mm -hmm. Josh, can you talk about your composure after the fumble? I, I, or, I don't know. I mean, fumble it. Uh, stuff happens. Move forward as a team. Our defense stepped up big. Uh, we went down and scored once to go up by four or something. And our defense came up with two huge stops after we couldn't really get that first down on uh, our last drive. How do you, even from your days in Bosco, you were able to take plays like that and just turn the page. I mean, is that, is that how you look at it now? Sure. I mean, uh, I mean, if I throw a pick six, one drive would come out, and uh, throw a tenured out, it's the same tenured out. Let's say if I scored the previous drive and throw another tenured out, it's the same route, uh, same situation. That prior to it is, shouldn't affect anything uh, going forward, other than just schematically being like, hey, they gave us this look, so we want to do this. But uh, no, uh, it's everything. Is, it's, football is a very different sport. They give us something, they give us something, and uh, we get it hurt. So. Josh, how do you measure your growth after a win like this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's for you guys to speculate on. Um, Game. You're six and two, three and two in the Pac-12. So you guys are starting to control your your own destiny. Again. But you guys got to keep on winning. Can you talk about where you're at at this point? We have to win every single week. Uh, I mean, it's it's not like we're going into your second and third game and saying like, well, we can drop one or two and still make it. We want to win every single football game we, uh, we step into. Were you happy with your performance today? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that we won. I said it last week, uh, I felt just as good after that Wednesday. Uh, Everybody that came out today, the most important game, I think it could be some more time. So Two more guys. Yeah, so fatigue a factor. The sun was pretty hot out there. As Coach mentioned. What a fact figure that one out. I don't want to speak on other people's behalf. Um, I really don't run that much in a game, so uh, I usually have my wind. Um, I, I felt fine. I don't want to speak on anyone else's behalf, but uh, I thought we executed as an offense or defense did well. Can you talk about the defense really quickly? Because they had to plug in different players, some guys that never played. And talk about their performance and, and, and what they were able to accomplish. It was amazing. I mean, that's that's what our team does. Uh, guys just kept stepping up. Josh was, um, was Incredibly selfless and burden his red shirt, uh, red shirt year to even go out there and uh, make some plays and help us out. And it came down to the end, so uh, every single effort uh, that came from anyone who start, started the game or thought they were going to start the game or anything um, definitely came through. Uh, so uh, can't wait to get next week. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Josh.